your song You make me wanna roll my windows down and cruise Hey, I'm Brooklyn and hey, I'm Mackenzie and welcome to Monkey, Monkey Pants, Pants TV. TV. Hey guys, Mackenzie wanted to be in the little intro, but today I decided to do a green and gold makeup look So this is how it turned out uh, this is my first time wearing, like, I think bright green eyeshadow, so that was really fun, but I just did the green, and then I did some gold in the crease, and on the waterline and lash line, and then I just did neutral, um, cheeks and lips, so I hope you guys enjoyed the look, and I explained everything in the tutorial, so let's get started. So I already applied my foundation, which is the Revlon Color Stay, and I already applied that with a e.l.f. Studio Small Stipple Brush, and I already applied my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder with a e.l.f. studio powder brush and all these products I use will be listed down below now I'm just taking a chapstick and using this to moisturize my lips and sorry about my mirror my dirty mirror I need to clean it but anyways now I'm taking a white cream eyeshadow and I'm using this as an eyeshadow base this is going to make my eyeshadows pop and make them last all day I'm just blending this all over my lids brow bone inner corner and uh, lash line now I'm taking my eyeshadow palette and the first color I'm going to be using is in bright emerald green. And then what I did is I put a little bit of my water into the cap of the water bottle. And then I take my eyeshadow brush and I dunk it into the water. And then I pick up the eyeshadow and then I tap off the excess. And the reason I do that is it makes the color more vibrant and it makes it easier to apply. And it also helps with um, eyeshadow fallout. So I'm just going to pack this green color all over the lid part of my eyes. And then I picked up a second layer of eyeshadow and just packed that back onto the lids just to build up the color and make it brighter and more intense. Then you can wipe your under eyes if you have any fallout with a napkin or anything. And now I'm taking a blending brush and I'm taking this really pretty shimmery gold color and I'm placing this in the crease of my eyes. And by doing this it's just going to give us a pop of gold and it's also going to help blend out the green eyeshadow and take away any sharp edges. Now I'm taking a crease brush. And I'm taking that same gold color I just used and I'm placing this on my lash line. My lower lash line. This is also going to tie into the pop of gold. Now I took my mascara. And I just applied about two coats to my upper lashes and about one coat to my lower lashes. And then after my mascara dried, I took a gold eyeliner, and I'm placing this on my lash line and also on my waterline. And then you can take a Q-tip and you can erase any mistakes that you made or pick up any messed up eyeliner or mascara. Now I'm taking my concealer and I like to apply this after I do my eye makeup just so it can kind of fix any of the mistakes or any of the eyeshadow or eyeliner mascara that got on my um, under eyes. So I'm just dotting that on and then I'm blending it in with my fingers. And now I'm taking a spoolie brush and I'm using this to comb out my eyebrows. Now I took a bronzer and I applied a little bit to a fluffy brush and then I just applied this all over my face for a light bronzy glow. And the last step I did was I, ch um, I chose kind of like a peachy nude gloss and I applied this to my lips. Thanks for watching. Bye.